Peggy 12. The Sims Medieval is a big, exciting game that came from players and the dev team asking the magic question, what if? What if we took The Sims back in time? What kind of stories could we tell? How would Sims live, work, and play in a totally different setting? The answer to that question is The Sims Medieval. Doven. <laughs> we built the game on a foundation of three pillars, heroes, quests, and kingdom. Let's talk about the kingdom first. At the beginning of your game, you'll be asked to choose an ambition, which is your kingdom's ultimate goal. Maybe you'll amass great wealth. Perhaps you'll kick the ass of all your enemies. There's plenty of ambitions to choose from, and each one offers you a unique story. Maybe you want to bring in the Knight's Tower to increase security. Maybe you'll raise a marketplace and start conducting trade with a faraway land. Or even build a smithy, cathedrals, or a tavern. Each choice affects the overall happiness and well-being of your citizens, and generally determines the fate of your kingdom. With every key building that you place, you're also bringing in a hero. And you can play multiple heroes throughout the game. So for example, when you slap down your wizard's tower, you're also going to be bringing in the wizard. And from there, you can customize them however you see fit. For personality traits, you can select from a wide variety. You've got vulgar, you've got evil, you've got charming, you've got adventurous. We've also got this new feature where you have to select a fatal flaw for your sim, which your sim was later going to need to overcome. We've got a pretty broad array of professions, so you're not just limited to being the monarch or the wizard, for example. You could also choose to be the priest, you could be the bard, you could be the physician, you could even be a spy if you want. Quests really drive the action in Sims Medieval. They give your hero sims a sense of purpose and direction throughout the game. Each quest has different ways in which you can complete it. The more complex quests will require you to group up to three of your hero sims to work together. Depending on the hero sims you bring with you, they offer different skills to solve the same problems in different ways. For example, a priest may speak out against a false prophet, while your monarch might just simply throw him in the pit. It's designed so that it's fun to play the quest more than once, if only to see how different hero sims can solve the same problem. How your sims live is a big part of the fun. They live in medieval times, a time where things were simpler yet more complex. You won't find any cell phones here. Instead, they'll keep in contact via messenger pigeon. So that's the balancing act you need to master. Managing your sims' daily lives, while completing quests, building your kingdom, and driving your story forward. As you can see, The Sims Medieval is about building up a kingdom, developing hero sims, and sending them on quests. It's about your sims' day-to-day -day lives, how you nurture them and take care of them, or how you torment them. Arundis, Draven, Sardine! 